Hey Math 43, I just wanted to show you how you could graph example six on the, um, the Graph and Calc 83 app if you were using an iPhone rather than the physical calculator. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna hit my stat button and you can see it, well, hopefully you saw it. Let me hit cancel. It's just to the left of the left arrow or if you go to that green alpha key, you can go two to the right. So let me hit stat and let me hit edit. And that would basically be the same thing I did in my regular calculator. And like always, I'm gonna put my variable into L1. So these are the number of, oops, these are the number of hours these students worked. And then I'm gonna put those frequency counts into L2. Three, six, two, one. And just for fun, let me go ahead since we're here and just put the cumulative frequency in. So let's go three, eight, let me get this. Seven, no, not 17, sorry, 11, 17, 19. Oh my goodness, Nash. Ah, ah, okay, we're gonna make this work. Wait for it. <laughs> let me go back here. 11, 17, I can make this happen. 19 and 20. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I wanna create just a frequency histogram. And so you can see above the Y equals key, which is that upper left key. If you look in yellow above it, it says the word stat plot. So I'm gonna hit the second key, right? You can see me activating it now, and I'm gonna hit Y equals. And how you do this is, you, you have your three stat plots, just like you would on your regular calculator, but here's how you toggle them on and off. So you see the little plus signs and the X marks, and I just want the first one. So I'm gonna make one graph, and then I'm actually gonna touch that plot, and it's gonna give me some options. So first of all, I want to make a histogram, so I'm gonna rotate the type. So this is just a sliding, I'm just, if I know you can't see my finger, but I'm just sliding it up and down. So we go to histogram. Um, you can decide if you want any markings to be um, squares, plus signs, or filled in circles. I usually just leave it as a square, and it doesn't even matter for a histogram. Now I put my variable in L1 and my frequencies into L2, oops, not L3, excuse me, L2. So I'm gonna leave that there, that's good to go. And you can, in this, you can change what color you would like all of this to be, it's totally your call. But I'm gonna hit done here. Now this is where things are different from the actual uh, um, calculator. So you can see that the right of y equals is the word graph, so I'm gonna touch that button. Oh, and real quick, I was using this in my algebra class, let me go ahead and clear out what I have in my y equals so you don't see that. So I'm gonna hit graph here. All right, now you can't even see my histogram, all right? And, and so we've, we've got to fix that. So let's go ahead and on the bottom left here, you can see the word zoom. And there's a whole bunch of options. Now on your regular calculator, you hear me say zoom nine a lot, which is zoom stat. And if you look at all of those zooms, right? Zoom stow, recall, previous. If you look all the way at the bottom, there's the one that says zoom stat. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit that. And now you can see my histogram popping up. Right? And if I touch this, if I, I'm literally just putting my finger on these rectangles, and you can see me tracing out the rectangle. Right, So if I'm over here, you can say it says the min is two, so I worked at least two hours that day, but it's strictly less than three. Right, So you see min equals two, max is less than three. So I worked somewhere between two but less than three hours, and it says n equals three because there were three students who did that. Right? And that's the same thing I would have gotten on the regular calculator app. Now, one of the cool things that I can do here is I can actually look, oh my gosh, and this is just me pinching in, just like because, or just like you would if you had a picture on your phone, you can pinch in and out, you can zoom in and out. So you can make those rectangles look however you want. And, and there we go. All right, now if I wanted to change this to the cumulative frequency histogram, if you look on the bottom right-hand corner here, it says the word done. So I'm just gonna hit done. And let me go back into my stat plot, so second and y equals. And I wanna change up my frequencies. I wanna to move to cumulative frequencies. So I'm still gonna have my variable in L1, my cumulative frequencies in L3 this time. Now I'm done with this screen, so I'm gonna tap my finger on the word done. All right, and then I'm gonna hit graph. And again, I'm gonna hit zoom down here on the left and I'm gonna opt for stat. And you can see that happening. Now there's that gap in here. So let's see if we can try this width and make that a width of one. All right, oops, why won't it let me hit enter? It, I am having trouble pushing on that. Well, I guess if you just push the down key, it will work. So I changed my bar width to one, and then you see I don't have any of those gaps in there. So just to show you, you can see there's this, this little symbol on the bottom left here. You see bar number and width, and I opted to pick width. 
And that's where over here, you can see I, there's a little, now I, I should say on the right-hand side, there's a little plus or minus and I opted with just the number of one. All right, and then that got my um, cumulative histogram looking good. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Bye.